Mark, how do you think? What have you seen from? There's three of you guys that are rookies on the defensive line. You, PJ, and Mohurst. Uh, what have you guys been bringing to the table so far? Oh, uh, PJ and Mohurst, Hurst, especially physicality. Uh, you know, they're down there in the trenches. Three, they playing in three, one playing in no. So a lot of physicality, a lot of versatility. Local lineup at the city, zero icon. Me passers, uh, physicality, different moves with my passers. How do you think that your personality is going to fit in with the other guys on this team? How well is your personality going to fit in with the other guys? Oh, fit right in. Um, I mean, I feel like I've been here for years now. And, you know, being behind Bruce and being behind him and he mentoring me and that, that's how I pick up on those things. Who acts act similar? You know a lot of similarities in that personality. Did that uh, bond come quick between you and him? Did it seem very natural oh, yeah. in terms of working with him and getting to know him? Yeah, it, it, it all came natural. I mean, when we first met and talked, it was like we already knew each other. Things like that. So, I mean, coming up in the same background, it's going to be a lot of familiar things. I've heard your skill set before sort of compared roughly to someone like, like Alden Smith and also I think Rudin has mentioned Simeon Rice, which was one of his guys back in the day. How close do you watch other pass rushers and maybe in the NFL and whatever and try and pick things up? I watch them a lot. I, yeah. I even watch three tapes like Aaron Donald, yeah. guys of that sort, and just to see different things. And I'm not scared to rush out the three. So if I get to the three, then I know what to expect from guards and things of that sort. But I look, look at a lot of pass rushers to try to steal some of their moves and try them one-on-one. -on -one. And if it works, it works. And if I like it, then it's going to stick with it. you feel like you have different moves when you're rushing from the three as opposed to coming off the edge? Nah, not at three, because three is, is not a lot of space. So you don't have a lot of moves. You, you got a lot of moves to do in the three. Yeah. So, but is it any? I mean, it's so it's different from coming off the edge. Oh yeah, you very different. Yeah, very different. More freedom. Uh, with the three, with the with the guards, is kind of like they don't see a lot of quick quick twitch guys in there. A lot of big guys, stout guys, and when they see a lot of quick quick twitch, it's hard for them to move their feet. And then we got uh, some of the best guards now, so they preparing me now for the season. You were, pretty, you were pretty honest with us on the conference call when we uh, got you the first time that uh, you said essentially, I think I'm a first round guy. I should have been a first round guy. It didn't, it didn't work out the last year at LSU maybe the way you wanted, but do you think you're performing like a first round guy? Oh yeah, yes sir, yes sir. <laughs> is, there a, is there a certain bond between you and Mo and, and uh, PJ? You guys all come in in the same draft class. And really, in theory, you guys could be playing on this line for years and years and years. Is there something that you guys want to do better than what this line has done uh, be, uh, before? Uh, yeah, we all we all plan to stand together. We all had a meeting uh, when we first got here. We all want to stay together in our careers and things of that sort. And each guy is under a vet right now. So right. we all under a vet, following their tools. And we all come back when we go have to do our rookie duties. So that's it. <laughs> That's, that's what it is. You've had some nice practice battles with, with Colton in one-on-ones. What have you seen from him just as a if he has to take on that starting left tackle? Colton, Colton get better every day. Uh, from the first day we went against each other to now, it, it just got so much better. He's working on his craft every day, and now i got to dig in my two toolbox and try to pick different moves to use on him. If but you, he, but, I'm sorry. He good. If you, uh, if you were to look at film of yourself on the first day of training camp and now, what would you see? Playing much faster, yeah. uh, learning the playbook, the playbook down, so I'm able to play fast, be able to react to different things fast. There, there's that picture of you and Bruce. Your faces are very close together. Do you remember what he was telling you in, in, that, in that, uh, that picture? I don't know. Probably carry my pants or something like that. <laughs> I don't know. Me, me and Bruce always talk and jump to each other, so it was probably some junk he was saying. Do you have a big you, toolbox in like in terms of pass rush moves? Is it is it pretty wide or do you, do you feel like if I go with one of the two or three, like that's my best that you kinda of keep it small and know what No, work? I keep it big. I'll yeah. always uh work on one move first and see if he beat it. If he beat that, then I'm gonna counter it with something else. If he beat my counter move, then I gotta counter it with another counter. So it's different tools than that. That's why I keep my uh pass rush tools wide. Is it sort of like a Match somewhat between you and the oh yeah, the very, very. You got the course of a game. Yeah, you got to think three steps ahead of the tackle because you might beat him on one set. So naturally, if he been in the lead for a long time, he already know as a rookie what your next move is. So I got to think, okay, what's my next move? Okay, what's my next move after that? And put that at the second one instead of the one natural thing as the second. One. You, got more, guys. you got cold the other day with a jab and a spin move really quick. Like mm -hmm. you were passing before you could react. 
Where did that come from in your toolbox? Uh, I don't know. I just made it up. Uh, <laughs> I, I ain't making it up damn, but you know, it's just working on different things. And you know, I trained with Chuck Smith, so I did a lot of spinning and things. That's like so my own little uh, thing on the spin. Is there instinct that goes into that? I mean, or sometimes oh, yeah. do you do things that you didn't plan? Yeah, definitely. You yeah. only got one pass rush move at uh, offensive tackle. An offensive tackle kick set, and it might not be the uh, same set that you were thinking about in that first move, so you gotta react to whatever the offensive lineman doing. What'd you get out of your work with Chuck Smith? Say that again? What'd you work with Chuck Smith? What'd you get out of that? Oh, a lot of pass rush moves, a lot of uh, knowledge on the offensive tackle. Um, learning his step, learning what he's doing, what, what, what the way he thinks, so then it make me a better pass rush. Last question. The other day, Maurice Hurst said that they that the Raiders need you guys to not be rookies this year. They need you to come in and just and contribute right away. Um, how what is what has your experience been with that? Oh, it's been very good. I mean, we just we just took it on our shoulders and we got to learn and play. That's what they want us to do, and we got to produce. I mean, they're not gonna throw us on the field if we're not ready. But they expect us. Our expectation to be high. Our expectation was already high coming in, and we just fit right on in and learn the system. Thank you very much. Hey, guys. Thanks, thanks for your time. Thank you. All right.